Now let's get one thing straight here. There are no freemium apps on this list. All these apps are completely and utterly free. Okay, so I'm on my way in and ha ha. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this episode, we're going to go through a list of 20 plus music making apps that are completely free. This list will not contain any freemium apps. So you think about that. Please consider that when you want to go down into the comment section and tell me about all of the free apps that I missed. Now, for those of you who don't know what a freemium app is, it, well, it's an app that you can download for free and use it and then you'll hit a limitation of some sort. So with some apps, you cannot save or load your progress or your works or your projects without having to do an in-app purchase inside the app and unlock some uh, premium or pro features. So all of those apps are left out from this list. Some of these apps are older, so you can kind of tell that they're old, but they still work. And I'm using iOS 12.1, I think. Throughout the video, whenever I show an app, uh, I will also show this feature list so that you can see whether it's uh, audio bus compatible, if it's an audio unit, you know, stuff like that. I just want to make it easy for you to grasp what an app has in the form of features. Because even though there might be a lot of free apps, truly free apps out there, I've only chosen apps that have some form of interconnectivity, meaning they can connect through Audiobus or Interrupt Audio or as an audio unit extension. If it's a synth, it should have some form of MIDI system. Some of these free apps don't have that. And so they're also left out out of this list. The apps I'm listing are all very, very useful and can definitely be used for music production. So now that we've gotten the ground rules down, let's get in on the list. First, we're going to go through some synths. And here we have six synthesizers. We have Synth One by AudioKit. This synthesizer is completely well, it's a fully featured synth. If you get this synth, you don't really need any other synthesizers because it can produce a wide range of uh, sounds. It has a huge sonic palette and it comes with about 500 presets or something like that. So if you don't like making your own sounds, you're covered in here. The next one is FM Player, and it's not really a synth in the form that it has an, you know, a, a sound generator that is an oscillator. This is actually PCM based, or a, it's a rumpler. So the sounds are basically sampled of other synths, and it has that typical FM DX sound. So you'll find some incredibly good sounding electric pianos in here. It's a really good app, and it's completely free. The next one is Primer. Now, a lot of people will say, hey, Jacob, you're breaking your rule because this thing, you know, it has inner purchase for learning about synthesis and you kind of write, but not really. I'm giving Primer a pass because when you open it up, you see this button here and it says learn synthesis. So what happens when you actually press it? Well, you're taken to the app store and then it prompts you to basically download another app. And then that app has inner purchases. So in essence, Primer does not have in-app purchases. And that's why I'm giving this one a pass. You can't buy anything from within this app. You have to download another one. It's an extra step. So this one is a free app. It's a subtractive synthesizer. And I even made a quick track using uh, four or five, was it five instances of this synthesizer?
I also want to do a shout out to Spice Mice, Sp Spy Spider, Spice, Sp Mice, Space Mice, this person. This person has made a preset bank for Primer. And I must say that the Sonic variety with in between these presets are pretty good. So way to go, awesome presets. And since this app is truly free, you should just go and grab it. Next is iTuttle. This one has costed money in the past. It's a very old synthesizer, but it still connects through interapp audio and audio bus and it has MIDI and I don't know. I just find it very charming. I think the price was dropped on this one about a year ago and hasn't been increased since then. And I don't think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna continue to be free. And that's why I dared put this on the list. After that, we have Nanolog by Steinberg. So this is actually a synthesizer that you get inside Cubasis, but this one can actually be used as an interrap audio synthesizer, but there's something weird with it because it will connect through interrap audio through AUM but I couldn't get it to load up in audio bus. But it's free and it's a, it's a monophonic synth. Just go check it out. After that, we have a synthesizer called Scythe. And I remember when I found this, I was pretty hyped. It's an um, extremely underrated old synthesizer. Extremely underrated. Because it gives you the ability to do some really crazy modulation. <laughs> The modulation abilities in this thing is pretty insane. It allows you to record your own knob movements and you can record pretty long knob movements on all of these features here and or all of these functions. It used to cost money but it dropped in price about one or two years ago and hasn't increased since. We're done with the synthesizers and we're gonna go into drum machines. And here we have a huge problem. This kind of broke me. I went through 400 or 500 apps. The only thing I could find in the way of a drum machine, I think it's been free for one or two years or something like that. And that app is Beat Machine. This is not a sampler, so you can't sample into it, but what you can do is load samples directly from AudioShare, which is pretty nice. It has a, um, an MPC type interface, song mode, pattern mode. Yeah, it's no Beatmaker 3, but it is a beat making app and it can do a lot for you, especially if you have drum samples and other types of samples in, inside your audio share folder. This is the only drum machine that is completely free that I could find. I couldn't find any free drum synth. Nothing that wasn't a freemium purchase. There are some drum machines out there that, that just are extremely cheap. But this list is not about that. It's about free apps. And so we're done with the drum machines. Next, we get to effects. And here we have a wide range of free effects that are very, very awesome. First up, I wanna show you this one. Here's a filter. It's called LRC5. It's made by Neon Silicon, and it's a five band filter. Now it leaves a little bit to be desired because you can't see the frequency spectrum range in the form of uh, visual lines on the interface. However, you can see it down here in the lower right corner. And it also has a cool feature like multi-select, being able to select all of these nodes at one time and moving them around at the same time, which is, yeah, I just like that. The way that you set the cue point is by pinching, basically. The big drawback with this one is that it doesn't have a bypass mode. But what I did was I saved my presets and when I wanted to bypass it, uh, I just loaded up the flat one, which means that there are no filtering being done. So you kind of have a bypass effect. And that's the only filter I could find that was completely free. So next we have the delay section. And here we have three delays. We have Delim, Frobulator and Nebulizer.
Yo, we can have a clash, but you're really not ready. My paper chase is hard, I'm going in heavy. Yo, we can have a clash, but you're really not ready. My paper chase is hard, I'm going in heavy. Yo, we can have a clash, but you're really not ready. My paper chase is hard, I'm going in heavy. Now, I couldn't find any free reverbs. Next up, we have flangers, phasers, and choruses. So we are going to try out the first effect, and it is C U S and P. And a lot of people who might know of this app will go, Jacob, this is not a phaser, it's not a flanger or a chorus. I know, it's not, it's a string thing. It, when, when sound passes through it, it sounds as if it's passing through strings or, you know, something string-like. But the cool thing is that if you work on this a little bit, you can actually make it sound very chorus-like. So that's why I put it um, in this part of the list. Now, I wouldn't use this myself. Why, you wonder? Because if you look here at the right, where you have all the boxes with the numbers, if you press one of those, this is the interface you use to kind of uh, set everything up and it feels like you're doing math and I don't like it one bit. But I'm sure that there are some of you out there who are looking at this and like, oh, that's what I've dreamed of. So here you go, it's free. So I'm gonna slide it to the right and we should hear it. And I'm gonna pull down effect a little bit open up the presets and as you can see, there aren't that many presets, but this is basically what it sounds like. So up the effect. As you can hear, it sounds as if I'm talking through strings. So, hey. I just realized you could use this as a reverb unit. I mean, the, I, we didn't find any reverbs or I didn't find any reverbs that were free in the app store. But with this thing, you definitely have a string reverb. Not a spring reverb. No, a string reverb. Next we have Gyro Vibe, and it's made by the same developer who made CUSNP, namely Neon Silicon. Now Gyro Vibe is a vibrato chorus effect with multi-stage filters. And if I lift it in, so we have a chorus effect right here, and let's do this stereo gyro face. We're doing a vibe slight face, a vibra flange. Okay. Do I sound weird? A slow chorus, wandering slow chorus, face of vibe, vibe, filter chorus, and wah osk. Lastly, we have Sveep by Klevgren Produktion. Let's just lift it in here. It's got two knobs and very, very easy to operate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, when we come to processors, there's only one that I could find. Rough Rider 2 by Audio Damage. It's a really good compressor and it will actually heat up your sound. You see, it does more than just compress. I've actually measured the output and looked at the waveform. And when I send a clean sine wave through this thing, I can actually see a bit of distortion being added to the mix. So it kind of heats up the signal a little bit. And so it sounds like an older type compressor. Really love this one. You should really try it out. It's a great way of compressing and heating up your stuff. So how about distortion units? Well, there are... Now, first up is Fuzz Plus by Audio Damage. And I actually use this one on all of my Mellow album tracks. I put it on one of the electric pianos, the one playing the bass, just to introduce a little bit of grit, a little bit of distortion into it. And you might not think about that, or you might not hear it when you're listening to the album, but it does loads for my sound. The next one is called Muckracker. And as you can see, it has the same design as Frobulator and Nebulizer because it was made by the same developer. So it has a guitar pedal interface and this one very much sounds like a guitar dist too. Just like Nebulizer and Frobulator, this one can also be controlled through MIDI CC. And the way that you map them is by just long pressing on a control and then tweaking a MIDI controller that you have connected to your iPad. And it will just attach that MIDI CC to that knob and it's very, very straightforward. We're done with the distortion units, but not quite because while we're on the topic of guitars, are there any free guitar amp simulators out there? 
and it turns out that there actually is. Now, the problem is with this one, I haven't been able to properly test it. I mean, I can run synthesizers through it, but it wouldn't really, really help for the guitarists out there. And since I'm not a guitarist and I don't even have an electric guitar, well, you're just gonna have to test it out and tell me and everyone else reading the comment section down there if this one is any good. So, is this one any good? I guess you'll have to find out. And now we get to MIDI tools, and these are small devices that I find extremely helpful. So I'm gonna list some of the most uh, obvious ones everyone should actually have. And so we're gonna start with Link to MIDI. Now this will allow you to connect Ableton Link to any other external hardware. So if you have a MIDI interface connected to your iPad or your iPhone, and you load up this app and you have other apps in the background loaded like AUM or Audiobus, and you've got a lot of other apps loaded in there, any app with Ableton Link, then that or those apps will be able to connect to this Link to MIDI app and then be able to send a MIDI signal out through a hardware uh, MIDI device and that will be synced to Ableton Link. Next up is Bluetooth MIDI Connect. It's made by Korg and when you run this app, it will scan your Bluetooth network for any Bluetooth devices, MIDI devices. And then you could connect to them over there in that app. And so if I would have thought about this app, I wouldn't have had to make this episode that took quite some time to make and is so obsolete when you think about how easy it is to actually do this stuff if you have the right app for it, which is Bluetooth MIDI Connect by Korg. And I feel like an idiot for not realizing it. Another type of tool, MIDI tool, that I consider being extremely helpful and vital in many of my testings and when I want to set up uh, control surfaces in uh, MIDI surface building apps and stuff is a MIDI monitor, a, a device or an app that can actually read MIDI and tell you exactly what type of messages are being sent through MIDI, uh, what type of notes are being played, uh, what types of uh, CC numbers, what values, stuff like that. And MIDI Spy by Kai Aras is a MIDI monitor and it is completely free. Lastly, in the MIDI tool section, I wanna talk about physicals or physicals. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this thing actually contains two apps. So you download Physicles or Physicals. It, it's made by Rodrigo Roman. And it, there are two apps in there that you load as um, MIDI uh, plugins. It's only a MIDI plugin. This is not a regular audio unit extension thing. And there's one called Bouncy and the other one called Gravity. Just let me show you real quickly what uh, Gravity can do for you here. have to have it connected to a synthesizer or some other form of instrument to actually get sound. But it's a very interesting little concept. The other one is called Bouncy and it basically has this box or triangle where balls bounce around in. So you place a ball in there and then you can spin it up and it also generates notes. And this is completely free. Pretty awesome. Now I'm about to round this up. I only have three more apps to actually talk about. Actually four, but, and the genre is other. Now, here are two instruments that are free and that allows you to play around with them and do some nice stuff. One is called Cycle. You play notes into a sequencer, um, but instead of having those notes being, you know, recorded there and staying there forever, they will vanish in time. So you put in a note and it will cycle through around and around. The, the whole point of the app is to just generate music that disappears over time. So you're constantly feeding it notes. It's just a very interesting thing. Try it out. 
Next up is TC Performer, the last one in this other genre. And TC Performer is a smaller version of the uh, bigger sister TC11. TC11 is an incredible synth, one of the only apps that truly uses the uh, touch surface and all of the uh, abilities of an iPad or an iPhone, like the gyro and the shaking ability. It uses everything. It's a very intuitive app and TC Performer doesn't give you access to the full potential of the synth, but it does give you access to play around with sound. So you have several presets in there and you can just, just download it. If you've never tried it, you really need to. This one is awesome. The next app is an app that I use on a daily basis to basically record and store my musical ideas. And I have been doing that for an extremely long time. It was one of the first apps that I actually started using and um, it's Figure by uh, Propellerhead. It's limited in the amount of instruments you have, but what it actually is, is a very intuitive sequencer. Makes it very, very easy to get started with. So you have a drum channel, a bass channel, and a lead channel, basically. You have effects with a little touch interface that you can use to modulate it and record modulations. There is no app that does it like Figure. The only problem with this app nowadays is that they've updated the app. And so when you download the app, you're required to basically sign into a Propellerhead account or at least make one. I think that's very annoying, but if you can get past that, then this app is incredible in so many ways. And so far it doesn't contain any in-app purchases. So there you go. Now, a lot of you might say, but Jacob, you didn't go into any free DAWs. One DAW that actually gives you a full experience without limiting you in any way, shape or form, then that app is GarageBand by Apple. It's the only one. If you know of anyone else that gives you a full experience, doesn't limit you in any way with the tracks, with the MIDI tracks, with saving anything, then tell us all in the comment section down below. So there you go. 20 plus free music making apps, completely free, no strings attached. But I would consider actually going out there and purchasing a DAW, just doing that, because you're still saving a lot of money on synthesizers, even a drum machine and effects and processors by downloading these free apps. So why not? I hope this helped you in any way. And if it did, hit that like uh, down there because that really, really helps me out. It helps the channel out. And it also tells me that you like this kind of stuff. So I might even make more of it in the future. Now, if you want to support me in a financial way, or if you want to find me online somewhere, you know, then you have all of these uh, links over here. Patreon, PayPal, you've got uh, my band camp over there. You can check out my Mellow album, uh, which is a, a music album. You can find it on uh, iTunes, Apple Music. You can find it on Napster, iHeartRadio. You can find it on Deezer, if you're French. It's all over the place. And of course, on Bandcamp. And keep recommending people going down and reading the comment section, free apps. No freemium apps, but free apps. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.